Hi Kids Gig Friends, it's Sarah. And remember last week when we packed our things and then we decided we didn't need to pack quite so much to go on a journey with Jesus? Well, we're ready to go. We're ready to climb the mountain, to listen to the Sermon on the Mount, to take into our bodies what Jesus has given us on the mountaintop. But before we begin, we have to warm up. We have to warm up our bodies and our minds and our spirits. So let's start with our bodies. I've got my hiking poles here to take me up to the mountain just in case it gets rough. And I'm going to take a few big breaths. Why don't you stand up and join me for this? We'll take a big breath in and let it go. All right, let's begin to move our bodies, our arms and our legs. We're hiking up the mountain with Jesus. How many times has God taken us to the mountaintop to share some good, some good news? Think about that one. Who else has gone to the mountaintop to receive information from God? Moses? Hmm. Well, Jesus invites us to go with him. So let's pick up the pace a little bit. Maybe some quick steps. Maybe some real quick steps. Maybe some slow steps. And maybe some regular steps. <sighs> I feel my heart. It's beating a little faster and my body feels warmed up. So I'm almost ready to go. The only other thing I need to do before I begin my journey is pray. So let's find a quiet position. Find your praying position. <sighs> Lord God, thank you for this day and all the blessings you've given us. Thank you for taking such good care of us and for thinking of us on this journey and every step of every day. Forgive us our sins and help us to do better. Lord God, hold us in your health and safety and take care of this world. Lord, we lift up all our concerns to you and we ask for your blessing. Amen. All right, and we're ready to go on our journey. So let's start by reading the Beatitudes in Matthew 5, 1 through 12. We'll go through the We'll go through them one more time. I know we did this last week, but you can never have too much of a good thing, especially when it comes to Jesus. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. <sighs> Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Did you notice that each beatitude has two parts? Almost like taking two steps. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. First, Jesus blesses us. So today, I'd like to offer you a blessing and let you know that you are here also to bless others. We can hold our hands open to show that we're ready to receive. And I'll go ahead and hold my hand open to you to show you that I'm giving you a blessing and you don't have to give me anything back. You are blessed, kids gig friends, because you follow Jesus. May Jesus, wisdom and love fill you and be with you all of your days. Now you can share the blessing with others. This week, we have some really cool pictures to color and I'm going to color them with my family and talk about some of the questions that we have. You have your books at home and you can do the same. The questions this week are, what surprised you about Jesus' sermon? What do you think it means to be blessed? 
How do you think the people hearing these promises from Jesus felt? And what are some mo modern beatitude ideas that you have? Blessed are those who school at home because of the pandemic, for they will learn with their families and draw closer to one another. There's lots of blessings that we have and that we can give. So this week, maybe we discuss these questions with family. And there's another really cool poster in our packets this week with the Beatitudes on it. I would challenge you to color it. Maybe hang it up in your room. Maybe look at that blessing, all these blessings, in the morning and in the evening. Kids, gig friends, you have a beautiful week. Share your blessings with others so that Jesus' blessings can work through you 